Hi guys, welcome to another video of Learn Kokni, and this is the English series going on. Okay, uh, today we are doing the verbs four, which again is a passage. Okay, you'll come to know how the again verbs are used similar to the last passage, but here I have used a bit of difficult words. So this passage is basically about a shopkeeper who tells about his story, like how the day goes on and all. Earlier it was just basic. This is the shopkeeper talk talking about his life, his day. something like that and again the uh, sentences i have tried to keep them as simple as i can okay so let's start quickly how vyapari vyapari is a businessman okay now businessman becomes a big term or uh, a shopkeeper i would say but vyapar is business and vyapari is a person who does the business okay shopkeeper is no doubt a businessman right so it's something like that so how vyapari Okay, I am a shopkeeper or a businessman. How wholesale saman vikte gheta? Wholesale saman. Saman is uh, goods or things. Okay, thing things. Uh, you don't have any specific thing. It depends on how you say it. So when I say wholesale saman, it no doubt means goods, not a single good or single thing. Okay, saman vikte gheta. This vikte gheta. Both words mean a verb. so you need to guess that ani maja girai kang vikta ani is and maja is my okay gira ikang girai kang is customer or customers so ang see the ang this one is to the girai is the actual word which is customer or customers and ang is to the so girai kang is to the customers vikta vikta is the one which you have to find out then maka kaam karun samadhan maita paka maita i get so maka kaam karun samadhan maita maka kaam kaam is work karun samadhan samadhan is satisfaction okay satisfaction maita it is not melta it is me ra ta maita mujhe veg vegre chhand asat mujhe my veg vegre uh, different okay so veg vegre is uh, see vegre is different and when i say veg vegre different and many okay i have many and different like that chhand I don't know how to write it, but it is chand. Chand are uh, chand is a hobby or are hobbies are hobbies. Whatever you have to say, so it can be either plural or singular also. Much a very very my different different hobbies. Asat, okay. Asat, you know that you saw in the last video. How old manta? Pehta ani maka na chung awarda. हाँ आय पद मंटा पद मंटा पेवता ओके नेज प्रोनाउंसिएशन आका नाचू आवड़ता सी आवड़ता आई मे नॉट हैव एडेड दैट बट आवड़ इज टू लाइक ओके वन मिनट आवड़ इज टू लाइक सो Please make a note of it. I haven't taught this, so again quickly we'll go through it. Uh, Nats on C. Nats is to dance. Dance, and Nats on is to dance. Okay. So again quickly I'll uh, we'll go through it. How we are party. How wholesale saman vikte gita. Ani maja girai kang vikta. माका काम करून समाधान मेहता मुझे वेग वेग वे छंद असत हाँ पद मंडा पेवता आका नाचू आवड़ता दुकान योपा पैली हाँ नाता दुकान इज शॉप योपा पैली पैली इज बिफोर ओके हाँ नाता हाँ नाता दुकान शॉप पैली इज बिफोर मगीर इज आफ्टरवर्ड्स पैली इज बिफोर हाँ नाता 
हाँ सगले सारे सकाय ना ते पता हाँ सगले इज एवरीथिंग सगले इज एवरीथिंग सारे मीन्स करेक्ट ओके करेक्ट आसा कई ना ना सी ना इज नो वन मिनट ना इन कोकनी इज नो एंड हय is yes okay these are the basic things at least you need to know if you are in goa uh sarke is is correct okay sarke is correct so sak how sagre sarke asa kai na everything is fine or not okay fine Kai now or not? Okay or not? See, kai exactly doesn't have a meaning. That word, if it is put in that sentence, in that uh, you know, in that in that format, then you get that meaning. So, sarke is correct. Na is no. Okay, sagre is everything. So, everything is okay or not. Fine. Pe is that. Poreka. So, how? सगले सारे आसा कई ना ते पता हाँ मजा गिरायकान कड़े नम्रतेन उलता हाँ मजा इज माय गिरायकान कड़े गिरायक कड़े मीन्स टू द कस्टमर्स ओके कड़े इज टू द कस्टमर्स नम्रतेन नम्रता इज पोलाइटली ओके उलता सो इन अ पोलाइट वे फाइन हियर यू कम टू नो यू कैन नॉट हंड्रेड पर्सेंट ट्रांसलेट एवरी वर्ड टू वर्ड इन इंग्लिश लाइक गूगल ट्रांसलेट फाइन सो इट इज गुड वी डोंट है गूगल ट्रांसलेट सो दैट इट डजेंट मेक सम वियर सेंटेंसेज और मीन इज आउट ऑफ इट बट द थिंग इज यू कैन नॉट टेक्निकली हंड्रेड पर्सेंट ट्रांसलेट हिंदी आई वुड से या मोस्ट ऑफ इट can you can translate it even marathi you can translate it most of it but uh, english you need to know the meaning and how the word is used okay so you will have to work a lot on it you will have to read as much as you can so that you come to know how a sentence can be written in how many different forms okay so that you can you don't find it difficult forming a sentence in you know various situations then how baraya quality che samandita हाँ बरिया क्वालिटी बरिया इज बरे इज गुड ओके सो बरिया क्वालिटी से मीन्स गुड क्वालिटी क्वालिटी से मीन्स ऑफ द क्वालिटी ओके सो गुड क्वालिटी चे सामान इन इंग्लिश इट वुड साउंड लाइक गुड क्वालिटी गुड्स और थिंग्स बट द क्वालिटी इज गुड बेसिकली इट मीन्स समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके सो हाउ बरिया क्वालिटी चे सामान दिता फाइन अगेन आई रीड क्विकली दुकान योपाचा पयली हाव नाता हाव सगळे सारखे असा काय ना ते पळेता हाव मजा गिरायकान कडे सी हियर गिरायक आय डोंट यू राईट गिरायक कॅन बी प्लुरल ऑर सिंग्युलर बट गिरायक कडे इफ आय ओनली से गिरायक कडे हियर इन दिस सेंटेन्स पर्टिक्युलर Uh, in particular then that is a singular form girai kan kade if i add an in this form it means a plural form to the customers okay but in general if i say girai it can be depending on the sentence it can be plural or singular also so please keep that in mind in general when i say girai so i can say you are my girai so you are my customer uh, today we had many girai which means today we had many customers so it depends on how you use but here to the customers have has to be specific okay so here you need to add this an to mean it has to be in a plural form so girai kan kade namra den ulaita how by a quality che samandita so that is it hope you guys understood more or less what uh, the passage meant do practice uh, the actual sound which i try to pronounce so that you know you will be fluent more in the pronunciations 
and the pronunciations actually give you a lot of confidence while speaking if you're not good at conversations you may feel shy when you're talking uh, you know maybe in a big uh, in a public place or something like that people may make fun of you and all so try emphasizing more on pronunciation than actually knowing the vocabulary if you could figure out the whole translation you can also do that i'll add the link in the description below i have already made the translation which was through devnagari but it is in english so the passage is safe okay that is it for today hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day bye bye don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel